I-49 southbound thought itself was fine. Some steel slide screwed into a limp-backed city, some flower pressed into Milwaukee's last Bible as if the dead could okay. pray. My name is Kemi Olive. Uh, I'm president of Speak for Yourself, B's one and only spoken word group, and I am, I'm senior uh, majoring in political science and philosophy, not English, not creative writing, political science. Stay true to, we have, um, we meet weekly and most weeks, we just have a large group workshop. Everyone can come with poetry, they'll read it out loud, perform it for the group, and then we'll all give them feedback, what we liked, what we didn't like, what we expected and did Everything is a souvenir stolen from the undertow. Put your ear to boulders and hear nothing. Cascading fingers on a windless flute, the hollow drumming of practice of a lonely throat. The, the flute imagery, like the the pro ah fuck, that was, oh, yeah. was so oh, good. Yeah. Oh, and then okay. we went back to it, like cascading fingers on a windless yeah. flute is at the at oh, the end. No. <laughs> it was like go J. <laughs> but spoken word poetry just makes everything so real. It makes everything that you've written um, so so alive and something that can confront you and that people can can hear and see. It's just Stop such a personal. Eating. Thing when you when you speak it in front. He was of real enough to me, and when logic came to me, painting hieroglyphics on the inside of my brain, and chunks of my skull began collapsing on my friend, and his bones cracked like smiles in the sand. I told logic, I do not know you, and slammed the door in its stomach, and it regurgitated all the dreams it tried to steal away. That's what I got. With cool. something as great as spoken word, like I was saying, it's like pretty low on the arts totem pole. But I feel like uh, people who see it and people who understand it, they're hooked. Spoken word's amazing. I'm biased, yeah, but it's awesome. And I think that um, when you when you share that with other people, they can't help but to want to be a part of it, want to hear you more, want to um, they they recognize you in that way. No spine, just the jealous tongue of an ex-lover. Which monster's mouth am I dying in tonight? Last time, the highway took me to the clawed one. I'll knife and underbelly, inches from spill, growl dulled into the backs of knees and laps of wrists like skin and spit could be enough to stave him from the blood. I asked, is this it? Naked and wrung from the bowels, blue bootied and split, mouthful of rind, I expected sharper things, I said. Half the beauty is the wanting, he said, and it goes like this. For 20 odd miles, I-49 southbound, graveyard to the reckless, junkyard for the homeless with no breadcrumbs to spare. Blessed be the bodies that know to tear loudly. I've loved too many men who sleep through sirens. Forgive me for mistaking stoplights for lighthouses. Half the beauty is the wanting. Half the beauty is the wanting. And that's where I am. And I don't know where to go.